I'm Fig. Welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to make cast Krobo style beads. What I do for this is I've made this clay mold which I've dried out by bisque firing it and then I take this kiln wash and I just paint a prophylactic layer onto the inside of the mold and that keeps the glass from sticking to the mold. Then what I do is I take this <clears throat> stick. Traditionally uh, people would use a cassava stick from the cassava plant, like the leaf stem or whatever. I don't know where to get any of those, so I just use this bamboo skewer I bought at the supermarket. I cut that in like that, and then what I do is I take ground up glass, and I just fill up the mold with the ground up glass, and then I stick that mold into the oven and bake it to about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. When it melts, then I can make a bead out of it. Well, as it so happens, I happen to have some beads already melting inside the kiln right here, right now. So allow me to demonstrate what I do when I make the kiln, the beads out of the kiln. Even though they're a kiln bead, um, I'm not very proficient at it, so I like to keep a torch going as a precautionary level um, so I can make the beads. So I gave it a spark, I added a little propane, a little bit of oxygen, and boom, I got me a fire. I'll just keep that going in case I need it. It's not my primary tool. The kiln right here, that's my baby. That's the tool that does, is doing all the work today. So I'm going to pop open the door here. Just pull brick out. I'll reach in there. Pull out a nice mold with a bead melted in there. And you can see the glass is kind of melted somewhat in there. This glass is a tough glass. It's not melting very smooth for me, but it's melted. With the tungsten picks, I sort of reestablished the hole where the stick kind of burned out. And I fumble around here like this, flip it over, and get it from the other side. Now, if this isn't a perfect melt, like this one isn't, I can put this back in the oven and let it continue to melt. And I'll do that again really quickly with another mold, and hopefully it'll be in a better condition for make it into a bead. So let's pull this other mold out of here. Oh yeah, that looks a little better. Let's quickly do that again. So I just reestablished the hole with the tungsten pick. If the thing's really soupy and it kind of is in there, I could gently pry it out using the pick. Once it releases, I flip the bead over in the mold. Reestablish the hole from the other side. Go. Once I'm happy with that, I have to cool the bead off slowly so it doesn't crack. If at this point I wanted to, I could use the flame and sort of reheat the bead. And sometimes I'll even push it into the brick. I heated it to get that texture. Then I put the bead into another kiln that I have at about 1,000 degrees for it to cool off slowly. And then I'll have a bunch of beads and I'm done. Thanks a lot.